Hello guys, Biker21 here and I'll speak about the BTS2 Bluetooth intercom device now so I got this device uh, like more than a week ago precisely two weeks ago and I've been using it this every day so I'm finding this device quite useful and it's quite worth for, for the cost it came at it cost me around $32 uh, which converts equivalent to um, around 2400 Indian currency so that's 2400 rupees actually I got two of them so one's for my brother and one was for me so uh, we have been uh, using it since day one since uh, last two weeks and it gives good feedback it works amazingly well and the intercom feature works well too so I'll speak about some things that I like and some things that I don't like about the device so first of all at this price range you won't get any bluetooth devices so good I mean there are different uh, Chinese products such as this one itself even this is a Chinese product and you'll find different sorts of Chinese products Chinese uh, similar bluetooth devices over the internet so the features this has is it has an intercom feature you can connect to two more people and uh, in that way the three of you can be in a circle like one device can pair to two other similar devices now this device is not universal so this won't connect to any other forms of bluetooth uh, bluetooth hands free or bluetooth intercom for helmets so this will only connect to the same uh, same of its kind like another kind of the same brand and the same model so that's a limitation that's a drawback about this device it's not universal now there are many other products in the market who claim to be universal and they pretty much connect to different brand and different model of the interphones now there's a premium model by Sina now Sina is a premium manufacturer of the Bluetooth uh, for helmet basically but uh, those cost a raw those, those cost a lot a lot more than this one so for me it was suitable to buy this one instead of getting a Sina so Sina has its own perks and its limitations as well and even this particular device that I have has its perks and limitations so there's one thing that I miss about this device is the jog wheel or the jog dial now you guys must have seen some dial uh, kind of like a circular dial on uh, bluetooth devices in the Sina especially where you can just rotate the dial to increase or decrease the volume or uh, toggle between different functions so that dials uh, dials are quite uh, quite an important thing uh, in the bluetooth device because i do miss that sometime because uh, adjusting volume on this one is uh, is quite hectic you cannot it, uh, the voice the voice does not uh, the voice basically does not adjust on single clicks even though it has a dedicated button for volume but that button is a multifunction button so it's not really a dedicated button for just the volume now uh, what happens is when you press the plus button once it will change the music track if you're listening to music it will change it to next track okay a lot of distractions so it will basically change the music to next track it will play the next track if you press the minus button it will play the previous track and that's what happens when you press the volume button just once and in order to change the volume for in, in case like for example to increase the volume to up the volume what you have to do is press and hold the plus key and wait for two seconds until it goes into the volume mode and finally it starts increasing the volume one step at a time so it will it will start like it will start going up the volume will start raising slowly slowly and uh, that's quite hectic you won't get the desired amount of volume at just one click or something you have to wait for that so in case if you are uh, if you are in traffic jam and you play you play some music and the music pretty loud and you want to decrease it you might have to wait for some time now you cannot let go of your handlebar and and you know and manage to adjust the volume 
because it will take at least more than five seconds depending upon how much volume you want to decrease so that's a problem there anyways i'm i find my way uh, of doing it uh sometimes what i do is i press the volume button on my phone even through my pants even if the phone is in my pocket so that's uh, even faster than changing the volume from your bluetooth device itself so the other feature is the music player this uh, device will play music quite well sounds quite good volume can go a lot higher and uh, even the voice clarity and the audio clarity is quite good the only thing is there's not much bass into the speakers because the speakers they're not the in-ear type of uh, speakers or the headphones they are just oh they just lay over your your ears and uh, that's the reason maybe the bass is not quite heard uh, on this device not so well at least but it's doable it's manageable yeah now another problem is getting uh, spare parts for this for this device now i believe uh, the sina has its uh, spares available you can purchase them separately if any of your any of your spares are damaged for example the mic the mic arm is broken the mic stops working or one of your connectors is, has gotten loosened up or anything you can uh, at least uh, buy those spares i believe and it's not the same in this case you might have to get the entire bluetooth intercom uh, like the entirely so that's one thing there's no repairing there's no getting uh, spare parts i have to take care of this device a lot more than i should be then there's the fm function you, this device has a has a built-in fm receiver so you can listen to fm wherever you are so they recommend being in an open environment for the best output but uh, of course like if you're riding a bike you are basically in an open environment so i don't know why they state that i know the the receiving the transmission will be received well it way the reception will be good but the problem with fm is uh, there's always some amount of like some sort of static that can be heard even when you're in the open and you have a best of the reception so there's always some amount of audible static that you can hear in the fm function even though the channel scans on their own it's automatic scanning you just have to press the plus or minus button to change between channels or stations and uh, it will scan the right channel the next channel and uh, that's what you will hear but i don't know the there's some problem with that so there's some amount of static it's not so irritating not so not so loud but it's quite audible and uh, you can get uh, you can get to listen to music basically that's not an issue so that's a good feature there's an fm function in this and uh, secondly the functions and features they are quite accessible they are not so difficult uh, it's not so difficult at all so all you have to do is read the instructions from the manual provided in the box and uh, they're quite easy to understand there's nothing there's no rocket science in there well, this box also includes a charger a wall charger and a usb cable so you can either charge it from the electric socket itself or you can just plug the usb into your laptop or computer so that's a, that's not a problem now mounting the device is also easy not difficult at all you have two different ways of mounting this device one is with a clip where you have to fasten the screws uh, and uh, fasten the screws and the clip to your helmet along with the device so it it hangs up near the edge of your helmet and second way is a velcro now the velcro is quite strong you can trust me on that it's not the typical traditional velcro that's way too easy to peel off this velcro does not peel off even taking off your device off your helmet from the velcro is quite difficult you have to put some energy into it so the thing is what i'm trying to say is that uh, your device won't fly away it'll just fly off when you're riding at more than 100 kilometers per hour ka speed at least i can uh, say it's 100 ka speed if you're above 100 speed 100 kilometers per hour it's not we coming off uh, too easily so that's a great thing because uh, in some helmets it's quite difficult to mount this device uh, because in my brother's helmet we have mounted that with the velcro it wasn't easy mounting it with the clip and the screws 
so that's pretty much it the device is worth it uh, it's uh, best buy it's not an issue with anything it connects well to your cell phone and secondly you can connect two cell phones simultaneously to this device like i don't know how many people carry two cell phones nowadays but uh, there's a feature where you can i mean there's a feature in this device itself that you can connect two different cell phones either your maybe they are either your cell phones or you can connect yours and your friend's cell phone i don't know why is that feature given but that's a handy and convenient feature now about the intercom for example i can connect to uh, two other same devices the same bts2 models and i can uh, talk to either one of them at one time i cannot talk to both of them at the same time like we three cannot chat with each other at one single time i can either select the person a or the person b so that's it you cannot it's not like a conference call it's just an intercom feature where you can speak to that person with the bluetooth and it connects up to 900 meters or 1000 meter depending upon uh, depending upon obstructions or anything like if you are in a straight line you can connect it well the signal will be good and there's no voice lag in between because i've tried it why because i've tried the intercom feature with my brother and uh, there was no voice lag at all and voice is pretty good the mic is pretty good everything looks sturdy and this device itself is water waterproof that's what they claim it to be it's built out of some silicon and rubber compound from the outside it's it's quite soft to touch and it pretty much uh, gets the job done it comes in only one single color that's black color with some orange color in between so if you're looking for a device that costs around 2400 or 2500 rupees you can go for this one or there are many other different products there are also some china products that have the jog dial or the dial wheel jog wheel whatever you call it so some devices have that and they also have a little LED display where it displays the battery the, the amount of battery juice it has or uh, i don't know maybe something else but battery indicator is quite important it's missing in this in this model that i have there's no battery indicator in there and you don't really know how much amount of juice is left in the device like how much hours will, will the device uh, be alive so you can look out on the internet you can check all the other devices you can compare them you can see the reviews because i've seen all the reviews and this is the one i thought i should get for myself so anyways guys that's it for now i do check out uh, the link of the of the same device that i'm using i've uh, mentioned the link in the description you can check it out over there so that's it for now i'll be signing out until then see ya